Welcome to Sneaker Talk 19, where I will talk to you about how I love collecting shoes. I have a special guest joining us today, and his name is Nick Andrews. Nick has always asked me how I got started with collecting shoes, and today I will share with you how I got started, and he will be asking questions that he is curious about. So Gabe, how did you get started with collecting shoes? So my mom uh, is a fashion designer, and I've always been into fashion. Um, I have two brothers, both older than me. My oldest brother loves collecting more designer shoes, where my middle brother likes collecting more of sneakers. And I'm kind of in the mix. I like both designer shoes and sneaker shoes. It's more of just like, like I don't like making profit off shoes. Like I just like getting shoes and wearing them. Yeah. So uh, who would you say is has the most collection of sneakers between the brothers? Um, my my oldest brother definitely has a lot of the designer shoes. Where I would say my middle brother has a lot of the sneakers. I have more more sneakers than designer shoes. So I would I would probably say my middle brother. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, these are like some really cool shoes you have right now. What are these? Yeah, these are um, the black uh, Yeezy Boost 750. Um, they came out a long time ago. Uh, I would say I don't know exactly how long, but they retailed for three hundred fifty dollars where where mm -hmm. I bought them at, and I recently found them yesterday. And I checked the price on them, and they're up to a thousand dollars. Wow. So when you buy these shoes, how do you do you like try to predict that they're gonna go up in a couple of years, or what? I mean, how do you approach your investment? Um, not really. I, like I said earlier, I don't really like to profit off shoes, but I do like collecting shoes. Um, sometimes I'll sell shoes if I think that they're gonna go up, but it's really like taking a risk because when you get into the shoe, like sh selling shoes and get buying shoes like you don't know whether you're going to want to make a profit off them or just wear them like if you wear them obviously they're going to go down in price because they're used but having new shoes and like seeing it's really taking a risk whether you want to hold them for a little while and then hopefully them going up in profit yeah so uh now the mo the majority of your shoes what are they like what are your favorites um, I have like a couple pair of Yeezys, the low tops. I have just this pair of high tops. Um, I have a, uh, more some designer shoes like Dior's. I have Balenciaga's, um, and then also Golden Goose. Mm. I like, yeah, yeah. I like those, and I like wearing them like with like jeans, sometimes shorts, like more yeah. than sneakers. So like, and where do you like where do you like to buy these shoes? So what do you recommend is the best place to buy shoes. Yeah, so online for the Yeezys, they they have a lot of raffles. Like I don't know if you've been to the website, but Yeezy when they have drops, they'll like sometimes notify you. Sometimes they'll have drop like special drops, and no one will know. Um, so the these you can get online on raffles. You can also wait like it while you while they come out. You can wait, and sometimes you get it like out of luck. Other times you can wait in lines in store, and that's like all about being patient because if you're if you're not into shoes, like you're not gonna wait in a two hour line for shoes. Sometimes even more. Yeah. So, uh, and you told me that you go to Europe. You go to Europe a lot, and you buy a lot of shoes there. Tell me about that. Um. So I I go s quite often, like over the summer. Um. I went to Paris recently, and uh, there's a mall there that has like a lot of designer shoes and sneakers, but they don't have more of the limited edition sneakers, but they have like Balenciaga's, which I love, and Dior's. And recently I brought a pair of low top Dior's all white. And yeah. I like them a lot. But also to add on to your question earlier, the one about um, like the drops and where to get them. So recently there was a drop for, I don't know if you know the Off-White Air Forces, the blue MCAs. Oh, yeah, yeah, And they released them, like, on a raffle, like a quick drop, like no one knew about it, and there were, like, only, like, a limited amount of pairs, and, like, barely any people got them. Hmm. And now they're selling up to, like, $2,000. Oh, uh, yeah. did you get them? No, I did not, no, unfortunately. Not. So, uh, last question. For uh, other people who want to get in the shoe, start collecting shoes, you know, because that's their passion. What do you rec like? Where do you recommend they start? 
So to start, you just have to have you just have to have patience and want to lo- have to love shoes. If you don't love shoes, you're not gonna have patience to wait in lines. You're not gonna have patience to like, cause a lot everything's about patience. Online, you have to wait to get selected for shoes. Also, you'll have to go, let's say three hours before a drop, wait in line. Sometimes camp even overnight. Like the there was recently a shoe called the Sakai Waffles, and mm. they released at Maxfields on Melrose. And they they took, like, my friend went, and he was in line the night before, and th- there was, like, so many people the day of, like, that they had to cancel the drop, and police came. It was crazy. Oh, wow. But you have to really love shoes and be, in, like, be able to wait for them. Also, you have to have connections because everything's about connections. If you have connections at stores, some people can hold the shoes for you. Where yeah. if you don't, you're not gonna be into the, you're not gonna be able to get shoes that are so limited. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now for the close, um, I want to thank you guys for coming. And shoes are basically the tires of your life. And I want to thank my guest Nick for coming yeah, today. Sure. Thank you. Cool. All right.